guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, but a little bit windy, critical fire danger day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization in the great state of Texas. It is Friday, April 1st, 2022, and I would like to... Uh, I would like to believe that today's rant is an April Fool's joke. Uh, it kind of is an April Fool's joke on the planet. And, uh, oh no, guys, it's Friday. I'm supposed to be doing, I just remembered, I'm supposed to be doing my ecological meltdown roundup Manga Bay rant. Anyway, I'm going to hold off Manga Bay uh, till tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow for the weekly Manga Bay rant. I'm going to cover, I, I think that my colleague here in the Doomosphere, Kevin Sandbloom, over at Black Bear News on Rockfin, uh, I think he covered this same story yesterday. I need, uh, need to go check out his video. But anyway, uh, it certainly bears repeating. So, Kevin, if you've already been over all of this, uh, I'm just uh, seconding the motion. So this is what I'm getting ready to read right out of today's uh, mainstream media. This is not from the environment desk or anything at Yahoo News. This is directly from Yahoo Finance. All right. Anybody who does not understand the definition of the military-industrial complex and uh, Dwight Eisenhower's warning to the world to beware the military-industrial complex, how the global corporatocracy uh, has, uh, in, in this case, the U.S. federal government in its pockets. If, if, if you're having any doubt on what fascism looks like, okay? If your definition is a government uh, in the pockets of corporations, which is basic, which is my definition of fascism, how about this story just this right here on the mainstream media uh, from Yahoo Finance, uh, several versions of this uh, story. This is my particular favorite. Why miners, not young people, miners, you know, planet eaters, why planet eaters are cheering Biden's move to help electric vehicle makers? And this is one of the strangest uh, leads I have ever read in a news article. The White House has deemed electric vehicle battery production to be in the interest of national defense and an unlikely group hmm, an unlikely group is cheering the move miners huh an unlikely group miners according to yahoo news Miners would be planet eaters would be an unlikely group to be cheering on uh, a directive to put billions upon billions of dollars in their pockets. Uh, anyway, I have no clue what the writer or editor of this article was smoking. Miners, more than any group on this planet, are cheering the news. Uh, Elon Musk, you better believe, uh, is dancing around his multi-million dollar yacht uh, celebrating uh, having Joe Biden uh, and, and the little greeny lefties, the AOC gang, directly uh, in, in, in his pocket. Yes, the White House has deemed EV battery production to be in the interest 
of national defense. On Thursday, yesterday, as part of a wave of energy announcements, the White House and Pentagon, the White House and the Pentagon invoked the Defense Production Act <clears throat> to ensure the availability of components for large capacity batteries amid the war in Ukraine. Those components include minerals that need to be mined, such as lithium, nickel, cobalt, graphite, and manganese. Hmm, I cannot imagine why. Anyway, an unlikely group. National Mining Association President and CEO Rich Nolan appeared on Yahoo Finance and said the move signals the country's seriousness when it comes to sourcing minerals from the U.S. Quote, quoting the, uh, the, the, you know, one of the single biggest planet eaters on the planet, the head of the National Mining Association. Quote, it's really important that folks know that the United States is open for business and what has made in America and what's made in America should also be mined in America, said Nolan, whose group represents a, a range of companies, including those involved in coal mining and every other uh, uh, my mining group, and uh, although it's never mentioned in this story, you can imagine where a lot of this mining is going to be going on. It's going to be going on on our public lands. Are you following me? The, the White House and the Pentagon have pulled out of their little bag of tricks uh, the, the, this military uh, preparation law to hand over our public lands to a whole slew of multi-billion dollar planet-eating uh, corporations such as, you know, such as Tesla and all of these others. This will turn in to one of the biggest giveaways to the global industrial corporatocracy using national defense as the excuse. This is called the military industrial complex literally eating our public lands and putting in billions of dollars into these uh, multi-billion uh, dollar corporations. That is exactly what this is. Fastest President Joe Biden called the move, quote, a directive to strengthen our clean energy economy Yes, close quote, adding that it is part of an effort to, quote, end our long-term reliance on China and other countries for inputs that will power the future. Now, that part I, I, I'm not arguing with. It's just moving the planet-eating from the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative over to, uh, over to this country. But... <clears throat> In the immediate term, as EV makers like Tesla, hmm, like Tesla, scramble to source nickel and Rivion warns of supply chain woes, miners will benefit the most from the administration's directive. So if you want now, this is a picture of a nickel mine. This is not a lithium mine. So this is what uh, Joe Biden is using and the Pentagon in the interest of national security. This is what the little uh, Green New Deal, uh, little greeny lefties 
This is a picture of what our public lands will look like. You better go hiking uh, there real quick, guys. Would you, would you rather have a fracking operation or a nickel mine uh, in, in your neighborhood? Uh, I think, the, what, what did Kevin, what did Kevin title his rant yesterday? Biden wants to dig up the planet to save the planet. And that, uh, and Kevin uh, is exactly right. That is exactly what Joe Biden is doing, is digging up the planet to save the planet. While he is being cheered on by, you know, these little lefty greenies, swallowing this greenwashing uh, corporate, corporate BS. Uh, this is all about lining the pockets of billionaires like Elon Musk, uh, you know, while destroying our public lands to save this planet from fossil fuels, uh, you know, by building all of these electric cars. All right. <clears throat> the effort is part of a broader push to encourage American independence when it comes to these precious metal minerals which fuel much of modern life. Yes, but come from places like Russia and Ukraine as well as China. All right, this is National Economic Council Director Brian Deese, quote, we are currently vulnerable to unreliable supply change, which affects our national security, and it also affects our economic security as well, close quote. Uh, no one said, this is the guy uh, the, from the National Mining Association, Nolan says that we are behind China you know, in their Belt and Road Initiative, when it comes to both mining and processing key minerals, he says it is important to catch up to avoid, quote, trading one concern of geopetropolitics for another related to metals mining and metals processing for the things we need for everyday life, close quote. Okay, so here we go now. This is where the military uh, industrial marriage, the most, this, this, I'm trying to think that this might be the single most glaring example of the military industrial complex, the marriage. Of, uh, of the U.S. military and uh, in the global industrial economy, and we're not talking weapons manufacturers here. We're talking private automobiles for American consumers. This has nothing to do, well, it does have something to do with weapons because, of course, all of this crap's going to be going into weapons, too, but they're not, they, you see what I'm saying? They are, they're really making a major jumping of the shark to invoke the, uh, the Defense Production Act to hand over all of this money to car makers, such as Elon Musk and his billionaire buddies. The invocation of the Defense Production Act of 1950, which allows the president to require, not to invite, which allows the president to require businesses to take actions deemed necessary for national defense, allows the White House to force, to force 
the building up of domestic production capability in these key materials. In, in other words, it paves the way for more mining. That is exactly what it does. So, if you take out all the middle of this paragraph and crunch it, the invocation of the Defense Production Act of 1950 paves the way for more mining. This is using some uh, arcane military defense act uh, from 72 years ago to force uh, car makers to make billions of dollars. And you will not believe this, but demand is only expected to go up. Prices for many of, cru many of the crucial metals have shot up in recent weeks. The price of nickel made huge jumps in March before returning to earth a bit. The copper and aluminum market saw similar spikes. Uh, <clears throat> Russia supplies about 20% of the world's nickel and both Russia and Ukraine are central to global supply chains of other precious metals. China now dominates lithium prediction. Demand, you know, demand for all of this stuff going into these batteries, no matter how long the war in Ukraine drags out, this, this has nothing to do with the war in Ukraine. That is the cover story. It is the excuse. It is the BS corporate greenwashing cover story. Okay? Make no mistake what this is using the war in Ukraine. Demand, no matter how long the war in Ukraine drags out, for the reason it has nothing to do with the equation, is set to keep growing in the coming years as part of the transition away from fossil fuels to clean energy like electric vehicles. Okay, now the, the sentence I'm getting ready to read. For the past several months, I guess since the publication of Bright Green Lies, you know, when you're over here on these Doomer channels, listening to these Doomers and uh, these few environmentalists who are left, who are not, uh, have been claiming that in, in order to switch from fossil fuels to uh, uh, all of this other crap, to this clean, green, uh, sustainable energy, that mining is going to have to go up by 300 to 500 percent over the next 20 years. I have been saying for probably the past six or seven months that mining will need to increase three to five times on this planet, in this country and on this planet than the level it is now. But this is not coming from a doomer. This is coming from the head of the National Mining Association. <clears throat> Demand for nickel and lithium and copper could grow anywhere between 500% and 1,000% over the next 20 years, according to the National Mining Association. So according to the National Mining Association, not according to the doomers and the environmental alarmists, in order to get this planet off of fossil fuels uh, to save the planet, uh, that the amount of mining in this country and on this planet will increase five to ten times what uh, is going on today. 
five to ten times are you listening to this guys and now you have the National Defense Production Act of 1950 uh, with its muscle behind it as the Pentagon uh, joining up with, uh, with Elon Musk. <clears throat> and then don't forget all of the rare earth minerals, uh, you know, uh, being a national security risk. Uh, how we need to start ramping up the mining of all of that stuff. And of course, although it's not mentioned in here, where, do you, where a lot of that shit is coming from is coming from deep sea mining. Okay? These rare earth minerals are, and, and I don't need to get in a whole other rant about deep sea mining, which is going to uh, increase by uh, one million percent. Uh, over the next 30 years, I guess, because it hasn't even started yet. Don't get me going on deep sea mining to save the planet from car exhaust. The problem in the nickel and other markets has captured the administration's attention for months with the Commerce Secretary saying in March that it is working with private companies to stockpile existing minerals. Hmm. So we now have the Commerce Secretary in bed with the National Mining Association. We have everywhere from the Commerce Department to the Pentagon now completely in bed with and in the pockets of these giant planet-eating corporations. Uh, the Save the Planet uh, National Mining Association doing everything in their power to save this planet by increasing the amount of mining on the planet from five to ten times over. Sounds like a great way to save a planet for me. What did Kevin say yesterday? Save a planet by digging up a planet. And now the focus is on increasing the supply, not just stockpiling the existing supply. Now the focus is on increasing the supply of all these minerals. Yes. Quote, and we don't get moving now. <coughs> and we don't get moving now. We're gonna be in real trouble. Yes, you are. You are gonna be in real trouble. And then I love the way they uh, hang, they leave us hanging with this sentence. This is how closing out. And, and you can only wonder what the hell this means. The White House also says further action, further action could be coming via the Defense Production Act on this issue if it is deemed to be in the national interest. So you can expect uh, Joe Biden to be invoking the, uh, the Defense Production Act uh, in, in the near future. You know, every time they, they, they somehow call something in the, is it this the national interest? In the national interest. So, if what kind of car you drive is deemed in the national interest, I don't know. I guess they could next determine, uh, they're already talking what kind of car we drive. I guess they can decide, they're going to decide what we eat 
is uh, in the national interest invoking the uh, Defense Production Act to what? What we eat, uh, the houses we build. Uh, <laughs> You can see where the uh, the military industrial complex has entered a, an entirely new stage as these li the little AOC gang, uh, these clueless moron, little green lefties, uh, cheering on, cheering on the military industrial complex. I guarantee you, I mean, I haven't looked, I guarantee you, uh, guarantee you that if I spent five minutes looking at uh, AOC's and probably Bernie Sanders' uh, response to the, this, the AOC is probably dancing, uh, if not doing something else, with Elon Musk at this moment celebrating uh, j j just the global corporatocracy fascist takeover uh, of this country and, and of this planet. Uh, then, then of course, I won't even get, so right next to these stories, you know, talking about American energy independence and all, all of this stuff and, and how we're stockpiling uh, all, all of these, uh, these minerals and blah, blah, blah. There's one story that American oil exports, as, you know, as Joe Biden is, as Joe Biden is pulling oil out of the, what do they call that, the petroleum reserve that the United States oil companies, you know, the oil drillers in the U.S., the amount of oil we sold to other countries went up, I think it was by 4% last year. I mean, last week. Last week, 4%, uh, the, the sale of American domestic oil got uh, sold on the global market. I'm guessing it got sold to Europe and China, just taking a wild guess, and then today, right next to this story, that liquefied natural gas uh, just uh, exports from U.S. drilled, can you say fracking, that this fracked uh, n natural gas that LNG exports, exports to other countries hit a new record, a new all-time record. The United States Fossil Fuel Corporation sold more LNG uh, on the open global market last week than they have ever sold in any week in history as the U.S. oil drillers, who are probably the same people, their sales selling uh, American produced oil uh, went up 4% to other countries while uh, Joe Biden uh, screaming about American energy independence is sucking oil out of our strategic petroleum reserves while we're selling more oil and, and, and gas and fossil fuels than ever to foreign countries. Shows you how much they give a damn about American energy independence. It has nothing to do with America. None of this has anything to do with American energy independence. Nothing. No thing to do with it. It has nothing to do with the Ukrainian war. This is little greeny flag-waving cheerleading by the clueless moron AOC gang waving around uh, all of these BS cover stories to give the planet eaters license to kill.
make no mistake about what this is, anybody, anybody uh, supporting uh, the lithium nickel mining, these electric vehicle batteries, uh, thinking for one minute uh, that, 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 you're, uh, that, that you're saving the planet by supporting this crap this unadulterated, uh, you're, you're being played like a fish by the military industrial complex. You are a pawn in their game and everybody from Joe Biden to Elon Musk is laughing all the way to the bank. Anyway, do I need to add anything else to this? Uh, so as I say, we will get around to the Manga Bay uh, Ecological Meltdown Roundup rant uh, tomorrow. Get out there and enjoy your little save the planet lithium battery while you still can, uh, while we still have a planet that uh, hasn't been dug up to save the planet. Bye guys.